I am quickly becoming a fan of this brand and that is Graph. Now ever since I made my purchase last year, I have fell in love with all of their beautiful fine jewelry pieces. Okay, that I've added some more since then, since my first unboxing to now that I just haven't shared, but I made a new purchase and it's part of their expansion of the Lawrence Graf Signature Collection. One of my favorites, by the way. And I thought, you know what? Let me do just a quick unboxing of the newest item that I got from Graf. So if you wanna see what I got, then definitely stay tuned. Hi, and welcome to my channel, Simply Fabulux. I'm Tatiana, and I like to talk about luxury goods and items, a little bit of lifestyle, and I try to sprinkle in a bit of tips or advice that I've learned and share it with you. Okay, so for today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick, small unboxing, and the unboxing is from Graf because I just added another fine jewelry piece to my collection. Now, if you are new to my channel, then I have to tell you, I love fine jewelry. I, for myself, find them to be a great investment piece. I've had my jewelry passed down from, you know, my own mother and plan to pass down my jewelry to my children. So yeah, I, I love fine jewelry. Again, that might be just an additional excuse for me to buy fine jewelry. But I mean, even if that was an excuse, I love it and will definitely invest in something that I love. So. Okay, before I get into today's unboxing, cause okay, this video is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be short, but it's gonna be good. But before I do that, I need to ask you just a small favor. It'll take a, a few minutes of your time, and that is to thumbs up this video. Let's hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and then hit that notification bell so you can be informed when I drop a new video because I drop a video every week okay now once you've done that let's get into today's video all right okay this box is on is like really heavy or the bag is really heavy i do have to give a shout out to my sa at graph they are wonderful okay nicest human i have met um just so patient and just have taking the time to really make sure that I know the heritage, the history, understand the different collections, kind of why they came about, all that stuff. So they've been so patient. So I have to say thank you to them. And then, you know, they do watch my channel from time to time and notice that I unboxed a piece <laughs> that had that big box. I don't know if you've seen the video, but I'll definitely put it on the screen where I had my little unboxing fail because I ordered a piece online and it came in this huge box. But honestly, like the box that it came in, I use it for my jewelry because it's like almost like a little jewelry box. So they're like, do you, do you want to get another box so you can have that as well? And I'm like, wait, you have a box here that's not just like online e-commerce part of graph where you only get that and they're like you know we have maybe one or two i can put your items in there and i'm like okay all right please do because i love that box it's a huge box again you have to watch the video i'll still show it here but i go into more depth i would say in that graph unboxing fail that i had so yeah definitely watch that but I'm gonna take out a few items from this bag because I got some other goodies too. And again, shout out to my SA. They are the best. I love them. I just love how kind and thoughtful and considerate they are. And when you're buying luxury, especially fine jewelry, like that really makes it more memorable of a shopping experience that not only are they considerate and thoughtful and kind of like, hey, I know you have something from this collection or I know you really enjoy this collection, 
it's expanded so come in i just thought of you just so you know but yeah no pressure but i love jewelry so um yeah, I made a I made a purchase as you can see. But yeah, let me just take out everything and show it to you and then get into the boxing. Again, I know I'm rambling a bit. I tend to do that, especially when I'm excited. So I apologize in advance. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first item that was in this bag that I think was supposed to be mailed to me, but something happened, so I got it when I went to make this purchase was just a little something something. So came with a note card and item here. So let's just unbox this. I know no one really cares about what's on the card, but I will unbox this. And let's see. Ooh, okay. So it's really cute. It's kind of nestled in some tissue in here. And I believe it is, hold on, take it out. Oh my gosh, so it's a travel spray with pouch. So it's their Eau du Parfum, and you were like, wait, they have Eau du Parfum at Graph? Yes, they do. It smells good. I mean, I haven't smelled this one, but it says it's the same scent as another item that I've smelled. So I know this will be good, and it comes with a little travel pouch. But yeah, this is what I got, so I can show you again. It's the graph fragrance that they have and the scent is called Lissetti La Rona. Okay, I don't know if that's Spanish or French, so I'm probably like rolling my R's and I don't need to or something. I know what this smells like because I have another fragrance that they have um, and I was actually gifted it as well, so I can show it to you. I haven't opened this one. But definitely gonna have this, you know, travel. I love to travel with my fragrances, especially because it's just so easy to go. Just to throw it in, in your handbag. And then the next item, which is the same scent as the parfum, is their candle. How nice is this? Oh my gosh, it's like so aromatic, so robust. Like it literally goes through the package which is how I know that this perfume will smell good. I don't know the notes. I wish it was on here so I could just explain it to you. If I do find it, I'll put it on the screen, but ugh, I'm trying to describe it. It's very, mm, I'm not good at describing notes, but it's like very clean, fresh, like a little bit of floral, not like a lot, not like a punch of floral, but like a nice balance of that fresh, sweet, clean, with like a little bit of floral in there, you know? There's like another note that I can't quite put my like nose on. I'm again, I'm not a descriptor when it comes to like candles or scents. Like I literally have to look at the notes that they you know, tell you what it is, but I definitely can tell you it smells really good. If you like a nice clean scent, fresh, crisp, with a hint of floral, you'll love this. It just makes me think of like fresh and clean, like almost like a nice spring scent. So yeah, I definitely can't wait to smell this. But all right, this is just like the goodies that I got with my purchase. Let's get to the actual main event, which is the jewelry item that I got from Graph. Okay, so this box, this bag and box is heavy, but I need to take this stuff out. So let me go ahead and take out the tissue that was on top. Okay, I probably can't take it out, I could just... <gasps> let me take out this box, hold on one second. Is this really in here? So I got the big box. <laughs> out of the bag um so yeah let's do this oh isn't this so nice i just the presentation is always so good at graph gotta tell you that graph is one of those brands that i highly recommend when it comes to like 
engagement rings or just jewelry, whether it's earrings, bracelets, um, necklaces. I love it. And there's like a lot of collections to choose from because surprisingly I've been to other brands where they only might have three or four collections like max and they're like big well-known brands but I'm just like that's that's it it's like oh I just thought you'd have more to offer and like I know at Graph they just have so much more to offer and then of course there's their high jewelry their hot couture jewelry so if you are in that league or you're like you know you're paying hundreds and hundreds of thousands for your jewelry. I will recommend going to Graph to see what they have. I digress. So, okay, I have, I took off the ribbon, which is so thick and luscious. <laughs> and then we have the box. So last time I just opened the box, but because they just placed it in here, I don't have to like rip this part off, which actually is very helpful. So when you open this, you get, the brand, like the name of Graph inside the box and you get another cute box here. Let me see if I can open it. There we go. Oh, look at that. And then Graph gives you a pair of white gloves. So I think this is like so great that they gave you like a pair of white gloves for your unboxing moment. And then you get a shopping bag. So if you order it online, you get a shopping bag and then you get a card. So this is a shopping bag in the back, which I've learned now. And then this is like a card that just kind of says, thank you for your purchase or thank you for shopping with Graph. I think they're on the front as well, but like this part in here has it in this big envelope. So that's in there. Once you take that off, then you're left with this compartment here. I can show that to you. And you peel this compartment off. And in there, nestled in beautiful paper, is your purchase. So let's take it out. I actually use this box again to hold my jewelry pieces. It's been holding my graph jewelry items because that collection has been growing. So to have another one, because the inside is not as big as the outside, but I do, you know, store my boxes with my jewelry in it. So yeah, it just keeps it nicely organized. All right, so here is the box that was inside of the box that was inside of the other box and i did get a ring because again i got this to really make the other lawrence graph pieces stackable so they had bracelets which i definitely want to get rings and yeah if you would stack up your rings you stack up your bracelets so if you want to have a cute jewelry stack whether it's an arm stack or a ring stack or a finger stack, you can do that. So I was like, okay, I wanna stack my ring. So let's open it up. Take off this beautiful thick ribbon. It says craft there. A little tissue which I appreciate and a flap that opens up so let's go ahead and slide it out now for the moment that we've been waiting for the unveiling or the unboxing of the graph jewelry piece and that is this beautiful ring. So it looks like it's two rings in one, but it's actually one piece. And it's very similar to what I own or purchased before, which I'm wearing now. Again, it's in white gold. I love it. This is from the Lawrence Graf Signature Collection. So it has these beautiful like facets that it looks really shiny. I think this one's kind of, you know, I've been wearing it all day. So it's like lotion, so it's not as shiny and sparkly as I like, but 
usually it's super sparkly so let me get my little glove out so i can show you this piece let's take this beautiful ring out of the box and i can kind of show you more hopefully up close of the ring i feel like the lighting here doesn't do it justice that i have but it looks like i have two rings graph ring on the bottom and then like this band of rings around it that's in diamonds i love the two rings together and like i said i have another one so if i stack this ring so here's the other ring that i got on top here and then the new ones at the bottom here's the latest one that i had then at the bottom of my finger like right here is the newer piece and again it has that row of diamonds that's all around and then another lawrence graph signature band and the good thing is about it you can stack it so that's what's gonna look like when it's stacked and the plan is to get like different colors different bands so i'd like to get a beautiful ring stack for myself that's part of the lawrence graph collection because there is a piece where it's the ring is also like pave it's not just like a band on top it's like this piece right here is in like full pave and that is you know the goal get one that they have that i really like that's in the yellow diamonds and yellow gold so it's a yellow gold band and it has beautiful yellow canary diamonds so that's you know a contender on the list but for now i definitely just want to enjoy this beautiful ring stack that i have so far i love how chic and kind of classic this is so you can like again when you're stacking it it's not adding too too much or you know you can wear the band on its own love it so if there is you know a special man or guy in your life whether it's like a loved one like a brother or cousin or father and you want to get them you know like a nice band whether it's one with diamonds without diamonds with pave just a signature diamond you definitely can i love the way it looks on at least the model of the men that i've seen who are wearing this so it just looks really nice and i like the piece where it's like versatile it doesn't lean too feminine doesn't lean too masculine it's just like whether you know whoever likes it can wear it and it leans to more of like being able to create your own style with the signature collection okay so i know the band is inspired by like the many facets of the diamond that's why it looks like that that's like where the inspiration comes from i like that it's unisex so it doesn't really lean to being masculine or feminine and it's really you know nice sleek chic <laughs> to me i feel like it's just classic where this is something that i could wear 10 years later it's not like oh that's just a trendy piece or something like i can't wear this ring anymore it's out of style even though i don't believe in if you like something and it's trendy now continue to wear it if you like it because it's something that you bought for yourself that's just my philosophy if you like something wear it because sometimes it'll come back in style maybe it won't but i don't think you should buy pieces based on trends so the whole collection is supposed to like really showcase your own signature style and i like that like oh, okay so it's how i like to wear it so if you're a person like me who likes to be really matchy matchy when it comes to their jewelry meaning like if i'm wearing white gold i want my stack to be all white gold or maybe you're like you know what i like white gold and yellow gold or white gold and rose gold again it's supposed to showcase the wearer's own style so this is my style i would definitely again add another piece to it i like a nice stack i know people are really into like their bracelet stacks but i could actually get with a cute ring stack that is not too much but it's just it's enough to add a little a little pizzazz you know a little sparkle in there 
that's me that's my signature style but yeah that is what i got from graph um let me know have you heard about the new expansion of this graph collection if so let me know what you like are there any pieces that are part of this collection that you know you have your eye on or considering to buy like for me on my wish list from graph it's definitely the bangle that looks like this but it's like pave diamonds as well as the spiral band i still want that spiral band but i mean when i saw the the bangle of this that looks like the ring i was like i need to add that to my collection too now fine jewelry you kind of have to like really pace yourself because it's pricey i mean i mean if you got it like that by all means go at it and get it as quickly as you want or back to back whatever but for me i do have to kind of save up and yeah just because i like so many things other than just fine jewelry y'all know i love my other luxury goods and items so i i have to pace myself i've been looking at the tilda bow collection to kind of add as another piece into my repertoire of graph pieces oh and then i was seeing overseas because you know graph is very popular at some other you know markets like the asia market and i saw some pieces that were in like pink sapphire and rose gold and y'all know or if you don't i have a rose gold bangle with pink sapphires that i'm really trying to get items to pair with it but like the only trick about rose gold is like you gotta make sure you get the right shade of rose gold i've been looking at that i haven't seen that at my boutique where i go but i've seen the images online and i guess you know again those are like targeted ads to me because they know that i'll be looking at graph jewelry so they're like hey did you see this <laughs> and it's like no i did not see that like, i get suckered into those ads like i did not see that piece and then the other item that's on my wish list when it comes to graph is this beautiful ring with like a little heart-shaped diamond i want that too uh, i think it's like in platinum though i don't even think it's in white gold so you know when it gets to platinum we're talking about higher prices all right so uh, a girl can only dream and save okay so that is what i'm doing but yeah that is what's on my wish list that is what i got from graph got to just add more to my stack of rings now again leave a comment below tell me what pieces that you like from graph if you have anything what you're considering to buying and before you leave if you haven't done so already make sure that you go ahead and like this video subscribe to this channel and then hit the notification bell so you can be informed when i drop a new video if you would like to see more of my unboxings from my jewelry line or my reviews about what i feel about my fine jewelry i'll definitely leave one of the videos on the screen so you can check that out i will see you in my next video bye